In the late 70s and early 80s, controversial issues such as the practice of genetic engineering and the rising of the AIDS epidemic gave birth to new societal fears. A subgenre of horror films, referred to as body horror, reflected these fears. Fears of what was inside us. Fears of flesh. Canadian writer-director David Cronenberg made Shivers in 1975 about a parasitic outbreak in a high-rise apartment building that makes its victims sexually promiscuous in order to spread. Exploring a similar pandemic, Cronenberg followed up with Rabid in 1977. After receiving a genetically engineered skin graft, a motorcycle accident survivor forms an orifice from where she sucks the blood of victims, turning them into brainless hosts that continue the spread of the disease. In 1979, Ridley Scott's Alien brought body horror to Blockbuster Heights. Scott worked from screenwriter Dan O'Bannon's script, detailing the precipitating events of a spaceship's crew coming into contact with a bizarre alien species. In the biomechanical eroticism of a Swiss painter, H.R. Giger's designs, Scott found the perfect pairing for O'Bannon's gestational alien. After stumbling upon an egg, a crew member is impregnated with a parasitic form, which, after a period of incubation, hatches brutally from its host. Released the same day as Scott's film, Cronenberg's The Brood similarly focuses on abnormal pregnancy. In it, a psychologist patient gives birth to murderous mutant children by horrific means. It's easy to see the influence of previous horror films in Alien and Cronenberg's early works. In their behavior, the victims of Shivers and Rabid resemble zombies and vampires, respectively. An alien, by plot, is not far from a sci-fi B-movie. Therefore, the defining trait of body horror is in its focus on biology, and this focus presents itself in both the scientific logic of these films, as well as in their sense of anatomical design. Furthermore, many films of the subgenre were in fact, remakes of 50s science fiction films. In films like the 1978 version of Invasion of the Body Snatchers, advances in special effects allowed filmmakers to further explore themes of metamorphosis, making them more sophisticated both visually and tonally. John Carpenter's 1982 remake, The Thing, is almost a crescendo of these traits. Upon disclosing the shape-shifting, extraterrestrial origin of the film's monster, which is capable of replicating any biological being, the picture descends into stark scenes of suspense and paranoia, punctuated by breakout moments of extreme anatomical manipulation. The alien antagonist's collection of interspecies DNA gave effects artist Rob Oteen a broad canvas with which to express himself and the resulting film is a menagerie of natural desecration. Many of body horror's protagonists themselves become monsters. In 1980s altered states, sensory deprivation and hallucinogenic drugs are utilized in a quest for higher consciousness, but end up having the opposite evolutionary effects. In Cronenberg's Videodrome from 1983, Watching explicit TV programming induces bizarre hallucinations and brainwashes its viewers into becoming violent themselves, reflecting yet another fear of modern society. Although he didn't intend it, Cronenberg's 1986 version of The Fly is a close analogy to HIV infection. After a freak teleportation accident, Inventor Seth Brundle becomes genetically spliced with a fly and begins his slow transformation into a hybrid creature. Brundle becomes obsessed with the power his mutation has given him, much like a drug user, 
and similarly looks to share his addiction. His search leads to a night of sexual promiscuity, after which the detrimental effects of his transformation become apparent. Again, Cronenberg explores the fears of abnormal pregnancy, this time through a nightmare sequence. Body horror has since permeated into popular culture. Biological manipulation has become a staple of science fiction and horror, popping up in TV shows and movies of varying tone and quality. Boy, Morty, I really Cronenberg the world up, didn't I? You got a whole planet of Cronenbergs walking around down there, Morty. However, in another part of the world, body horror had taken a different form. If you're into horror movies, and you should be, check out Devil's Eye Clothing Company. The promo code below will get you 15% off all purchases, so click the logo to go to their store now.